In this class, we're going to look at back cicadas for both leaders and followers. One suggestion I'll make at the very beginning, if you're new to cicadas in general, back cicadas can be a little bit dangerous. So, <laughs> so really practice the forward cicadas and get really, really comfortable with knowing where your partner's feet are in space before you start to attempt back cicadas. And when you do, either just wear your socks, or if you've got practice shoes like mine with a very soft heel, fine, but, but really, but yeah, shoe guards, shall they say, or put pillows around them, the shoes. But what we want to do, actually I'll show an exercise to begin with. For the leaders, I'm going to need to be able to pivot on one foot 180 degrees. So from here, I need to be able to pivot to there. Can't do that, can't do a back cicada. Okay? If I can only pivot to here, not gonna work. I need to be able to pivot to here in place, balanced on one foot. So my rate is on my right foot, there's no rate on my left. Then I extend, and notice I'm keeping my heel down. I'm not going back like this, I'm going with the heel down. Okay. So the easiest way to start with a back cicada, I think, is from a rebound. So I step, we do a rebound, and I pivot as I lead her to a side step. And then I step in for the cicada. And notice I extend the leg and then I go. Rebound. There. So find this position. And then finish. And do whatever to get back to the line of dance. Back. Kind of my go-to there is a calicita back to the line of dance. Makes for a nice elegant move. Once you get really comfortable with this, we can even do this in close embrace. Now I still opened up a lot. Notice, but I still kept connection here. So we didn't go totally open. For the followers, probably the best place is from back Ocho's. Because we already naturally have a nice pivot happening. All I have to do is overturn the pivot. So Shelly's going on to her right leg here. As I take, as I lead her to take weight there, I start sending energy around. I collect, I switch weight to my left as I keep her coming around. So for me, it's, and I open up a lot of space. Now here's the key, is look at Shelly here. She's pivoted, actually she's starting to step as we're demoing the step. But actually if I stop here, really, she needs to get completely pivoted before stepping. So, now, here, when does she step? When I lead her off of her axis. So 
So, what this means is I have to leave her on her axis until she's in a position to do the saccata. Now I'll try not to do this too roughly, but if I start to bring her off her axis before she's done pivoting, <laughs> not gonna work. Another thing for back cicadas for the followers is here. I sort of imagine that there's a small circle around Shelley's supporting leg. That's what I want to, that's the circle that I want to send the energy around. I don't think this circle, that's for something else. Like there's a circle also for regular terms which is bigger, okay? If I do that, see, she's gonna start falling. So I'm sending the energy sort of down and around, almost like a spiral around her supporting leg. Instead of it being from up here, it's going down here. And again, around this leg. There. So if we think about that, small circle, then we can get nice pivots. So those are the simplest back cicadas for the leaders and the followers. In future lessons, we'll look at even more advanced ones where we can do a cicada, a back cicada, and her do a back cicada, and, and stringing them together. There's all kinds of things you can do, but these are the basics of the cicadas, okay? Thanks.